I'm gonna be getting two asterisks here. This is gonna be the Spirit Master. Okay, so not not the Bishop, not the Astrologer, but the Spirit Master, which which works. Spirit Masters are able to summon ethereal beings from beyond that can impart a range of long-lasting effects. Healthbringer, summon a spirit that will restore all allies HP three times at regular intervals. Two spirits cannot be summoned at once. Summoning a new spirit will cause any existing one to disappear. All right, can play into the strategy there a little bit. Banish, perform a light magic attack on a target or all targets. Uh, very familiar with that. I have been wanting a holy type attack for a while. Um, I think I'm going to enjoy that. And the Swordmaster. Swordmasters are unrivaled experts in the way of the blade, so I called that one. Able to unleash, uh, able to un, uh, able to switch stances in an instant for extra damage or a stinging counter blow. I wasn't really good at that in Bravely Default or Bravely Second. I would like to try it again. I think it could be a an ability that is very very useful in a lot of situations. We shall see. Solid stance, a dot to stance from which the attack command is automatically performed twice every time it is selected. Okay, um, I saw that one. Because that was what let you get off like five or six hits on, on all my guys in a single in a single turn with three brave points. Fluid stance, adopt a counter-attacking stance from which the user will automatically hit back against any attack aimed at them. So that's like putting putting the uh, putting strategy on autopilot a little bit. Okay. Come back here. You're not getting past me. Quickly, Bishop Helio, go. I leave things here in your capable hands. I kicked your butt once. I can do it again. Do you still not see it? He's been lying to you all along. Shut up. You think I'll listen to you? Maybe not, but you'll damned well look. Come here. What are you doing? Stop that. Shut up and just look. No, but, but uh, this means everything we did was thinking back now. Things have been growing worse here in Rheindal ever since Helio's arrival. We began to make baseless accusations against one another and to treat our most sacred and serious of ceremonies as an everyday occurrence. I thought nothing of it until my own daughter was accused. But I will struggle to forgive you even so. You, who hounded my beloved child to her death. If I were permitted, I would strike you down here and now. But I have no right to do so. I too played my part in the madness. And you, in your own way, are just as much a victim as myself. I... We are all children of Rheindal, of the Lord of Dragons, and we must all look deep within ourselves if our homeland is to have a future. What have I done? I must investigate the circumstances surrounding the judgments in more detail. Archbishop Dominic surely cannot be unaware of all that Helio has done. Though he is the highest among us, if he has sinned, those sins must be exposed. I will join you shortly. The bell! Another one? Who's for it this time? Could have sworn I heard someone mention Martha's name. Martha! Alright. <clears throat> well, someone's trying to slay a dragon, and that will not stand. First, I probably need a heal. Not really. I did not use a lot of MP in that fight. Wow. And I mean, I used a lot of MP on Elvis, but Elvis, he just has so much of it to begin with, and he does also have abilities that can passively restore it. And, um, same with Adele. Wow, I did not use a lot of MP at all in that fight. Well, let's heal. And, uh, again, I am glad that 
I'm glad that I was able to do that fight in one turn, even if it took like 45 minutes, because um, I uh, I did not save beforehand, and I would have had to recover some progress and some job levels and all that. Speaking of which, yeah, job levels. Okay, saving the dragon can wait. First, let us Gloria and Gloria and Adele can be switched onto something else. Gloria can, as I said, go to the. Uh, Go to this thing as your main job. I'll leave the Beastmaster as your sub job just so that I can throw animals at whatever I don't like. Um, should I need it. And Adele. I'm not sure what I want to do with Adele. I could I could have you continue on the way with Freelancer. I'll, I'll have you continue with Freelancer. I feel like having somebody, at least one person with the um, with the Freelancer ability maxed out. Probably isn't gonna be a bad idea. Let me uh, let me look at the details of this. JP earned is increased with a multiple of 1.5, increased to 1.7 with the other JP ability. Deal damage to a target based on user's uh, encumbrance. Interesting. Remove various status effects and JP. All right, that's the one that I have now. Interesting. All right. Well, the equipment can be the equipment can be defaulted. Particularly with you. I'm not... I just fought a boss fight. Unless I'm fighting the, um... Unless I'm fighting the other guy, because there was a th another guy, right? Who was bossing everyone around and telling him to pitch people off cliffs and whatever. Unless I'm gonna fight that fight soon, I don't think it's really gonna matter if Adele doesn't do anything interesting in fights. Um... Speaking of which, what's your sub-job? You... Black Mage is currently your sub-job. I guess I can do that, but... Why not? All right, you can do a little bit of damage like that. Probably not a lot, but nevertheless. I also said I was going to do side quests soon, didn't I? Um, how many side quests do I have? Those are those are not the side quests. Where are the side quests? Here we go. There are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8. I have 8 side quests that I can do. I I guess Oh, you know, I want to rescue the dragon. The dragon lass. Uh, where is she? Over here? The bell tolling means means someone's gonna get thrown off a cliff, and that's... Not, not there. That's, um... Up, up on the top? Up here? This way? What do my party members have to say? All right. Well, let's go rescue a dragon. Like, I feel like... Why, why was she in town anyway? I hereby call this judgment to order. But Bishop Helios not here. Who's going to be in charge? Fear not, brothers and sisters, I shall preside. Alright, we're we are gonna be in for another boss fight, aren't we? Oh, it's you who I said was gonna be the astrologer. Okay, you're the one who's wearing like the sun and moon on, on your robes or something. Okay, it wasn't Helio. Do you have anything to say in your defense? I've done nothing wrong. All I did was pass on the words of the master himself. And he says the judgments have to stop. Nonsense! Will that be all? No. There's something I want to ask you. Then ask it. Do you really believe that the Lord of Dragons speaks to you? What nonsense is this? I am his Archbishop. How could I possibly believe otherwise? I believe you when you say that. But that little voice you hear? That's your own thoughts. Your own desires speaking to you. It's almost sad when you think about it. To hold your Archbishop in contempt is to hold the people of Randall and their most sacred beliefs in contempt. And in doing so, you only deepen the suspicion against you. You will stand before your people and face the judgment of the Lord. This and only this and lift the stain of suspicion from upon you. Lord of Dragons, what 
watch over you. Lord, the dragons watch over us all. Damn it! No! Get out of the way! Martha! Oh, hello, you lot. It's very nice of you to come. But I think this might be it for me. Can you... Can you tell Master Gwydion I'm sorry I wasn't able to do as he asked? Lord of Dragons, watch over us all! Lord of Dragons, watch over us all! And with this, the last of those who stand against me falls. My power is made absolute. Lord of Dragons, watch over us all! Bite your tongue. You're a fairy. And? You scared? No. But why didn't you say something sooner? You. I can't believe how how beautiful you are. What? When did you get so gooey? Shut up and hold on. Del, you're... you're a... I know! I was as flabbergasted as you are! I don't mean to offend you, Martha, but... I'm not sure I believe you. What's that supposed to mean? My eyes nearly popped out of my head when I saw! But... What? Speechless for once, huh? Now that really is flabbergasting. Ah! Oh, a fairy! An actual fairy! I... We can use the confusion to make our escape. Yeah, good idea. Elvis, snap out of it or we're leaving you behind. What, what the heck just happened? She's a fairy. Hey, hey, where are you all off to? Come back here. Wait for me. I think we'll be safe here. Uh, for a minute, maybe. But they'll find us before long. Friends, over here. Father Ridian. My home will provide refuge for a short while at least. Follow me. Please, make yourselves at home. Why are you helping us? You know what just happened, right? It was you who told me of the Lord of Dragons' true wishes. ...and of Helio's treachery. Although I must confess to having been a little surprised to discover your... ...true form. Aye, you're not the only one, pal. What's the big idea? Not telling your traveling companion and trusted pal that you were a fairy all along? Sorry. We're not supposed to tell people. In fact, we're not even supposed to leave our village. They keep it hidden behind all kinds of magic wards so no one from the outside can find it. You must have had a very good reason for leaving. Are you allowed to tell us what that might be? I suppose now's as good a time as any. I think I told you before that I'm looking for my sister, right? Well, she disappeared from our village after stealing all the asterisks. You what? So the asterisks belong to the fairies? Yes. We made them a very long time ago. 
took all the knowledge of the greatest masters of the professions and sealed it away inside. Anyway, I left to look for my sister so I could bring her and them home. So, when I met someone who happened to be looking for the asterisks too... You naturally thought that certain someone would make a fine companion on the search for your wayward sister? Something like that. And then, we heard about this woman giving asterisks out to people. And I realized it had to be her. I only wish I knew why she's doing what she's doing. Come quietly, you! Leave us alone! We don't know anything! Then why are you running away, hmm? And Mistress, your fairy, who? A lot of you! What do you know? I would not do this! Take them away! I fear there will be no stopping the chaos now that a fairy has finally been discovered in our midst. If only we had seen the truth sooner. I think we'd better go to the Hall of High Holies and resolve this matter once and for all, don't you? But Gloria... I'm coming too! No, you are not. Look at you. You're covered in bruises. They must have put you through hell. I... Father Radian, will you look after Martha for us? But of course, child. B but Don't worry, Martha. I'll go instead. No need to look so glum. We'll be back before you know it. Uh, all right, but be careful, won't you? Okay, so it sounds like, uh, boy. It sounds like now we're gonna go beat up the, the guy in blue, the Archbishop, whatever his name was. Um, I'm glad we didn't do that now because, like, level 5 job, level 7, level 8, level 9. Oh, that's actually not that bad. I, uh, I thought Gloria was earlier on in the Red Mage journey than that. But anyway, I do want to go do some side quests. Uh, we saved a dragon, that's cool. Still mildly annoyed round 2 that, that she is not coming with us, but, uh, such is life. There is a party chat. A fairy for a friend. Crikey, I still can't qu quite get my head around it. You are a real fairy, Adele? You? A fairy, a flippin' fi- Alright, Elvis, we get it. We're all as surprised as you are. Yes, I really had thought that such creatures only existed in children's stories. Well, not only are they real, but we're friends with one. Who knew? I mean, hmm. Nah, they're real right enough. Your wings, I mean. Of course they're real, you idiot. Because, as, as I- uh, as I wish you'd get in your thick skull, I really am a fairy. You really are. Gosh, what a surprise. Yes, you, you do look very surprised. Quite surprised. I can't believe how surprised you look. But now that I've seen it, it certainly doesn't seem strange you flying around like you did. Yeah, it was a shock at first, but almost right away it was like you uh, always looked that way. And you're still the same underneath, right? You're still just you, but with wings? Just me? Well, that's charming. Still, I guess I should be grateful I'm with people who are at least as understanding as you guys. I'm lucky you didn't run off screaming the second I unfolded my wings. Ha! Huh. Except we'd go and do that. Sure, we're, uh, we were surprised. Who wouldn't have been? But you're still just you. Just Adele. Exactly. Elvis is tr still trying to save himself here. Thanks a bunch, you guys. Alright, so I one thing that I really, really need to do is figure out how to keep the screen from dimming. Um, during cutscenes, I went into my Nintendo Switch settings and I turned off all of the options that I found that said something like dim screen after a certain amount of time. And it's still doing that. Not sure why. Anyway, I do want to do side quests. I do apparently have eight of them uh, lined up and ready to go, but um, a lot of them have been waiting for a while because I've been f sort of following the main story for a while. So let's uh, let's run out of town and let us uh, see who needs what. I believe uh, there's some that, that go back to Savalon. I don't think there's um any in Halshiona. Um... There was one, and I, I, I'm pretty sure I showed the video of it. I even marked on it when I came back to town one of the times. There was someone who was standing outside town. This guy who wanted something from us. Uh, anyway. Let's see. I can go to the travelogue, and this will... I, ca I can't access the map from here. Can I... Where... Where's the map? 
Oh, you know what? Okay, the uh, the carriage guys. Those are, those are the guys who let me fast travel. I can't just fast travel on the map the way I can on Octopath and a bunch of other games. Okay, I'm dumb. That's awkward. Um, I will say about that about the fairy thing. That is not how I expected that to play out, and I uh, I am not disappointed because that makes, if anything, that makes everything more interesting. Let's let's go back to Savalon. Um, the pins for the side quests are not on the map here, but I feel like there should be at least a couple I can do in Savalon. Um, I'll knock those out first, and then I'll move on to whatever. This is, uh, chapter four. I'm expecting soon Adele is going to be able to use her special. Is she already? Is Adele already able to use specials? I don't think she is. I don't think she's unlocked that ability yet. And, um, I'm wondering how that's going to play in with the crystals, because her being a fairy and... If that's gonna change anything, or if or if it's just gonna be the same, uh, the same thing as as it was before. Let's see. Okay, that's Shirley. I'm I'm not doing that now, cause I don't want to die. Scales in the sand. That's that's in Savalon. Okay, that's here. This is somewhere around Wizwald. That one's in Rhymedal. The joys of spring. Okay, that one's in Halcyona. I'll activate that. I will deactivate this uh, with the Y button. I will activate this. The Wayward Merchant, that's somewhere up there. Rhymed all. Okay, I'll do these first. Um, it's it's sort of behind the city. Okay, I will I will run around this way. I'll also, you know what? Some of the some of the special monster encounters. I don't remember where all of them are. I remember where a number of them are. But there's a, there are a couple back around Halcyon. I will go back and see if I can fight those. And am I going the wrong way? The red one should be in the desert, like, right here. 